North Clipper High friends, Darth Momo here. Once again, I'm here for another installment in my top 10 series. This time, we are definitely doing one that's entirely original. Trust me, I looked it up. We're going to be looking at what I think are the top 10 Star Wars trailers. Now, while there is a variety for the films, we are also going to be including trailers from Clone Wars and Rebels as well. So, uh, let's get right into it. So trailers, they've been a thing of the Star Wars universe since 1976. You know, that's a, the trailers are part of films. Their purpose is to get us excited, give us a glimpse of what we're going to get soon. But uh, let's just take a moment to all of us truthfully admit that uh, original Star Wars trailers sucked. You know, they, they weren't as exciting or as plot guarding as they are now and they didn't really know what they were doing but uh regardless I'd like to t count down uh what I think are the top Star Wars trailers so uh let's get into it at place number 10 we have CBS Fox Video presents a collector's preview now in some fans eyes this may not necessarily be considered a trailer as this was really just a promo for the VHS tape releases like 10 years after the films had been completed but I still consider it a trailer it was treated as one you know here and it's shot like one made like one so I consider it this is probably some of the only original trilogy content you'll have on here because uh, at the time of the original trilogy trailers weren't necessarily in their prime like I would say they are nowadays but uh, you know it's the music, the voiceovers this gives with it, and just the what's included, and that's to me what I mean. I consider this great. I like sitting down. Whenever I pop in my old VHS tapes, I usually don't skip through this like I would with, you know, watching The Lion King, for example, or something. I sit down and watch it because it gives me an exciting, you know, recap of six hours of film in three minutes, and for that reason, I enjoy it and it, that's why it's number 10. At place number 9 we have the Star Wars Rebels Season 2 trailer. Now uh, I will admit this got me excited. This was a great trailer giving me a glimpse at what's to come. The inclusion of Darth Vader it was awesome as well I mean while we all knew he was coming back just hearing James Earl Jones voicing him was just so nostalgic so great so brilliant I also love the way this, you know, that this thing included Rex. That was awesome. That was almost equivalent to the fan reaction of Han Solo at the end of the second Force Awakens trailer. This trailer, it was exciting, and it gave us a glimpse at what was to come in the television series. And I ranked it number nine for that very reason. At place number eight, we have the Star Wars The Clone Wars Season 5 trailer. It was good. Not as good as some other trailers, but it gave us an exciting glimpse. Teaming up Maul and the Mandalorians was a great choice, great action. I love the voiceovers, the music, and really what the, gave me the thrills with this and caused me to overanalyze it so many times was the epic battle that it teased coming between Darth Maul, Savage Press, and Darth Sidious. And that's why this is a good, enjoyable trailer. For any fans, Mandalorian's back in action was epic and awesome. At place number 7, we had the Star Wars Rebels Fire Across the Galaxy trailer. This trailer was epic, blew up all over the internet, gave us a glimpse that was to come in the epic fin season 1 finale for Star Wars Rebels, and I'll say it, raised the expectations so high that the episode kind of disappointed me, and I thought the trailer was better than the episode. Really the only time I've ever thought that. But, uh, yeah. At place number six, we have Star Wars The Clone Wars The Lost Missions trailer. The final installment in our beloved series. This trailer got me hipped. 
I will say it was a little disappointing because the way that they phrased the trailer, I thought they were going to connect the Sifo DS and the Tup incident all together and kind of start to piece out things. And I was getting excited for that, but of course, timeline and continuity would not allow for that. Otherwise, the music cues for this were great, and that's really what geared me towards the um, listening to Star Wars music was just this trailer and how it used these cues. And, uh, it was quite nostalgic. I love it. At place number five, we had the Star Wars Digital Movie Collection trailer. Now, this may not be considered a trailer by some fans because like the CBS one, this came out 10 years after the last film, but it was a trailer as it was being a trailer for the digital movie collection, and I've got to say what makes this trailer for me is that beginning first 15 seconds, the binary sunset, Yoda's voiceover, and really the blending of the entire saga, something fans thought was going to disappear because Disney wants to stay away from things like the prequels and all that, but really my only regret is that they made the movies as digital after or before The Force Awakens came out because it seems like they're kind of keeping that borderline between pre-Disney and post-Disney acquisition content. At place number four, come on, did you really think I wasn't going to put The Force Awakens trailer on here? Really what makes this trailer so much was the music. The music was fantastic and the way it was put together. At first the slow snippets of Rey and then Finn and then Kylo Ren and then all of a sudden getting fast paced Han's voiceover of It's True all of it and it was just great it really showed what this was movie was going to be now it really didn't it, I didn't think it was going to be a kind of a repeat of Force Awakens the tr but the trailer I mean it would indicate otherwise but it's still an epic trailer for an epic film with epic music epic voiceovers and how it was put together that's what makes a trailer to me and that's what made this number four at number three we have the most recent trailer Star Wars Rebels season three trailer it was great the inclusion of Thrawn just how this was done the music showing off the new looks of our Rebels cast and teasing Ezra's fall as well as Kane's blindness and Grand Admiral Thrawn and Continuing the downward spiraling events of season two, really, what's not to love about it? it? It gives us so much to look forward to, and I've I've probably seen this thing about twenty times. It's closer connections to the films. It it's really enjoyable. The music, as well as I've said before, music helps to make a trailer. And starting about midway through the trailer, that's where the music picks up and it gets fa fast paced, action and I love it. At place number two we had the Star Wars The Force Awakens Chinese trailer. Two trailers after what was promised to be the final trailer we got this and this was epic. It blended together that music cues with even greater music cues from the previous trailer. Action it was fantastic. It It's considered my favorite Force Awakens trailer and I, I love it so much I would in the countdown week as a Star Wars fans would call it I would always watch this trailer right before I go to bed probably watched about five times I remember just sitting up here in the dark watching it It was epic it's great I watched it before right before I saw the movie it was fantastic my own, the only downfall that I think on this trailer is how usually trailers have a wind down towards the end this trailer didn't it was just like right in the middle of a fast paced part of the trailer and they just kind of cut off and that really didn't that just doesn't necessarily sit right with me. Otherwise, the teases, everything was great. But there's one trailer I find better than it. Now, I'm pretty sure you're all anxious to see what that one trailer is. Well, as always, prepare the drum roll for me. At number one, we have the Star Wars Rebels Season 2 mid-season trailer. Yes, this is probably where the hate mail is going to come in for including an animated trailer as the best of all the Star Wars, but really it was great. It gave us so much to look forward to for this series more than the season 3 did. The return of Darth Vader, Darth Maul, Yoda, Princess Leia, so much great action and I mean as I said music is what makes a trailer. This had excellent music 
and Darth Vader versus a Soka Tano. Oh my goodness. And the showdown was equivalent and worthy of this trailer. It was, oh, so much to look forward to. So much great stuff in this trailer. I will probably watch it about three times a night as the season would go on. Getting ready and preparing myself for that epic showdown. And that's why I rank this number one. Thank you for tuning in today. Darth Momo, out. Go ahead, if you liked the video, click on that subscribe button. Subscribe to more of the channel, more Star Wars bits, upcoming features. And always go ahead, hit that like button and comment. Thank you.